What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So I got another tutorial video for you guys. And in this video is how to do a two-tone paint job. Uh, there's some guys out there asking me how to do it. And I think this is a perfect moment because I was doing two-tone paint job on this car. So first things first, you want to do the light color first. So say like you want to do like a light color and then a dark color. So first things first is you want to do the light color first. So in this case for me it's orange. And then the secondary color is going to be a dark gray. So the reason why you want to do a light color is because dark colors can cover light colors pretty easily. So you don't have to prime it again and all that fun stuff. Uh, if you do a dark color and then a light color, then you're going to have one hell of a time covering that light color over that dark color. So just keep that in mind, do light colors first. Um, in this video, I only did show you one more clip. Um, I did three coats, do as many coats as you want, and then let it dry for about 24 hours. That's what I did before you start masking the body. Okay, after about 24 hours, the paint has dried completely, and then we can start masking. If you don't let it dry, then if you mask it off, you're going to risk peeling the paint off the body, which is the last thing you want. So the paint, the tape I'm using is actually frog tape. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to where you get it, uh, to Amazon or whatever. You can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, Walmart even. Uh, frog tape is just like Tamiya tape. It feels and acts just like Tamiya tape, and but it comes in a much, much bigger roll and it's more affordable. Uh, so this tape has worked perfect for me. I ha I've been using this tape for about, oh my gosh, about three three or four years from now and um, it's amazing so right now what I'm doing is I'm masking off or pinpointing the parts that I want to cut so I'm using a toothpick so the parts where I'm seaming uh, where I'm gonna cut is the chrome trim so this car has a nice chrome trim down the strip on the back of the car and I'm gonna cut in between that because that's where my color is going to split right there and if I miss a little spot on there it doesn't matter because um, I'm going to have bare metal foil there covering it so that's where I'm going to cut it but if you say you're going to do a stripe or some sort of deal on the body or a roof uh, whatever just make sure you cut precise and cut clean like I'm doing right here on the window trim make sure you do very precise uh, where I did the chrome trim in middle I didn't do too perfect because I didn't really care about that part because it was going to get covered in chrome anyway. And I'm keeping this footage as real time speed so you get a general idea on how fast it's going to take and how slow it's going to take or whatever. Uh, when I do the other side, I did split up the footage because it's identical like right here. Uh, so uh, don't mind that, but when I do a separate part, I'll you know leave the footage as real life you know time. Uh, and also make sure you, your exacto blade is brand new. You want your exacto knife to be spanking sharp because if you're not and if you're pushing down onto the body you're risking into cutting into the paint and obviously you could uh, strip the paint right off when you peel up the masking tape so make sure you have a very very sharp because of the blade in this case brand new
Now, once you get all the trim masked off, your precise cutting and stuff, and then you just mask off the rest of the body with a thicker piece of tape. Uh, this is one inch masking tape, uh, again, frog tape. Um, just make sure you don't have any overspray. No matter if you're using airbrush, like I'm using airbrush in this video, um, it don't matter. Airbrush can still leave overspray. So just mask off the whole body, just be extra safe, you know, battery safe and sorry. And then, of course, if you're using spray can, make sure everything is just completely covered. But yeah, just mask up the whole body, wherever it's left over, and you're good to go. Alright, now it's time to start painting the secondary color. Uh, so before we start spraying, right here what I'm doing is I'm checking the whole body, uh, especially the seams. Uh, see where I'm pushing my glove? I'm pushing it, all the seams down, make sure there's no bubbles, air bubbles or anything like that. Make sure there's no uh, tape peeling up, because if you do, then obviously paint is going to bleed through the tape. So just push down thoroughly and just you know double check everything because tape sometimes can peel up in certain times and um, just you know before you start spraying just do that and just be sure. All right, now I'm starting to start spraying. Uh, so when you spray, make sure you're going very light. You're not spraying too heavy because if you do, you're gonna have some kind of weird. I'm seeing between the two colors, like one color can be raised up higher than the other one. Um, so just be sure to go slow. And also keep in mind, when you're spraying, spray away from the tape seam. So say like the tape seam is on the bottom of the car, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go ahead and spray up with the tape. Uh, because you know, you don't wanna spray with the tape because you know, sometimes paint can kind of cluster, you know, against the tape and it can breathe through it eventually. Uh, so just kind of spray away, but then keep your coats very light. Don't go heavy, because again, you can have a weird seam between the two colors, and then you know, um, you know, don't keep it from getting clustered against the tape. Alright, so after about 10-15 minutes dry time, and we're ready to start peeling our tape. I've let it dry for about 10-15 minutes where it's kind of touch dry and tacky, but then again, not fully dry because I just I do still want this secondary color to blend in and kind of smooth out against my first color. So that's why we're peeling it up now. Uh, just you can touch it, but just don't touch it, you know, too often. Try not to in this case. And then now it's time to start peeling the tape. Um, one little tip is when you're peeling the tape, 
uh, peel the tape along, or yeah, along with the body line. Don't peel the tape against the body because sometimes the paint don't like that, and it it can eventually peel up the paint from your you know from your color, uh, from the body, just say. So always peel with the body, not against it. And also, I left this footage as real life time uh, footage, so not sped up. Just giving you a general idea how slow I'm going. There you go. There's our beautiful two-tone paint job. This is after clear coat. As you see, it looks absolutely incredible, and it's pretty cool to do a two-tone paint job. I don't normally do it too often, but when I do, I'm glad I do because it's actually pretty cool. So again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope it helped you. And again, everything I use in this video, I'll leave a link to it in the description, uh, just in case you want to uh, use it or find it easier. But I don't know, guys. Until next video, I'll catch you next time.